What's up, booze? Welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna be straight up. Um, I really wasn't in the mood. Um, just emotionally, emotionally, physically, was not in the mood to make this video, but. I do have some dedicated subscribers and some dedicated viewers, and I appreciate all of you guys. I don't care about the count. I appreciate you guys for even just giving me a second of your time. Um, so I decided I'm still going to put this out there for you guys, also for myself, because I cannot let things keep me down, and you shouldn't either. So let's just jump right into this video that I have prepared for you guys. Oh, yes, don't come from my nose. If you have allergies, like, this can happen to you after you go like this a lot of times, but whatever. I just want to put it out there before someone decides to bring it up. I brought it up already. I already came from myself. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be making a bob out of a frontal. So I'm actually going to be turning a frontal into a closure. And you guys are going to watch me how I do that. So... We have our lovely mannequin head with us today. We have our needle, needles and pins already threaded for us. We have the ciseaux, scissors, and we also have some hair. And I'm actually throwing it back. I know my ladies know what I'm talking about. Um, this is before we had the options of Brazilian, Peruvian, Malaysian, um, Indian. I'll be using our Milky Way uh, so this is 10 inches in the color 4 so I have two packs like that in the Milky Way brand and then I'm also taking it even further back now this is the weave I started to wear when I was like about 16 17 when I started to wear weaves and I know some of you guys already know what I'm talking about I'll be using premium now we got some premium now. So if you guys know, there was always premium too. There was always a debate which one, if the yellow pack was better or the blue pack was better. Preferably, I always just look to premium now in the yellow pack. It never fails me. So this is in the color 1B. And how many inches? Let me just take a look. It looks like it's about 10 or 12 inches, just from the looks of it. It should stay, but I'm just not seeing it. But, and then this. Is the beat up lace frontal attached to cap. So uh, last week we used this the hair to make a closure. Closure. Now we're gonna use the frontal of those of that hair to make a closure on a brand new wig. So here you have it. It is longer, but we're gonna work with that. And how can I forget everyone starting a wig? You definitely definitely need your whip wig cap, which I like. I prefer the mesh cap. It's more breathable. Find it at your local beauty store, as y'all already know. So first things first, I'm just going to start by cutting from detaching the actual frontal from the wig cap. I'm even lost for where to start. Okay, yeah, here we go. So just be careful not to cut the lace. Um, what you can do, I'm going to get closer is you can like kind of pull the lace from the cap so when you cut the string in between you are not cutting the lace i hope you guys can see that and like bring your scissors up with it so you really know you're not touching the lace at all and snip I like to cut going up, that way I'm not cutting, I, there's, there's like lower chances of me cutting the lace. So, underneath, pull out. And that's one side. So now to make the closure, because this is obviously a frontal, and I just want a closure. I'm just going to be cutting from here, go up, boom, our right, closure. What you want to do is you can get yourself a marker, something that's um, that won't ruin the lace and you won't see after you look at the complete 
completed even like a white chalk pencil or like an eyeliner or a lip liner something that's just easy to remove off of your lace you want to use that to trace out where you're going to be cutting if you're like me and just can't cut straight for shit so be right back with your whatever you choose to use i'm using a eyeliner that's what i'm using by nyx why isn't this thing focused it's actually brand new so it's going to be touching this lace before it even touches my face look at that probably want to measure your head too i kind of like could tell just by like this that it'll start going up like right here and like right here so I'm just gonna take my chances and just mark that out and mark that out um, then I'd like to do this just to see if I get the same result on both Bing. so I'm gonna do that again so I'm starting from this end to this end with my index and my thumb, bringing it over, never moving it, and bam, it fits. So now for the coupe de Calais. So I'm just going through. I didn't even brush this thing out. Oh my god, this is a hot mess. Oh, maybe you'd want to like. Yeah, I think I she should make a part. So the hairs that come out and that are cut are proper so you see like when I cut fuck you guys can see it when I cut I'm already like spacing this out so I don't like lose any unnecessary hair and I flip it back over and I'm just gonna cut following the outer part of the line you can cut directly on the line if you want. And so I'm going to do the same thing on this side where I flip it over and I see where the white marker is. Here, there's some hairs that are in the way, so I'm just gonna take that out of my way. Boom. Okay. Your closure from your frontal. Boom. Um, if you want, I'm probably gonna straighten this out a bit because like a little crooked. So, voila, you have your closure. I got my cap going on. So I told you guys in my other video, I like to use these two lines kind of like as a guideline. Most of the time it comes out perfect. Sometimes you just have to go a little bit wider.
boos, let me know down in my comments which was your go-to weave back in the days. Was it Premium Now, Premium Now 2, Milky Way, or just bring up some old weaves that us girls just had to depend on before all these Malaysians and Brazilians and stuff came through. So let me know down in the comments. It'll be interesting to know who else had the same journey that I, as I did back in the days. After the closure is laid down, I just simply turn it into a bun and I use a T-pin to secure that bun down in place. And then it's off to using these bundles to create this unit. I'm starting off with the Milky Way package, which is a color 4. I'm going to have that at the bottom and then I will proceed to use the Premium Now 1B at the top and then the closure is a set natural black. So we're going to see how that all blends in together. <laughs> There's even dust on it, bro. Oh my god. Because my previous video was how I made a lace closure, a lace closure unit, I didn't bother show this whole part. Um, however, in the original video that I made previously to this one, um, some clips did get left behind because of my battery um, dying on me. So I will do my best to try to make a detailed video of how I make a lace closure or a lace frontal. We'll see how that goes and I'll keep you posted through. So what I'm doing right now is just, you know, attaching the first weft, double wefted to the cap and then I continue on um, at least halfway and then I use the premium now 1B for the other half and then we are finished and I go on to straighten it off straightening it straighten in it off camera wow what a tongue twister and then coming back to you guys and showing you guys entirely how I style it I have a plastic bag taped to the floor um, and then my mannequin head placed above it so when I cut all the hair falls on that garbage bag and not on this woman's carpet. I am trying to avoid all confrontations with my mother so please do this. It's even, it's just smart in general just to have something to pick up the hair that you can throw away altogether. So I just got a feel of the hair of how I'm going to be cutting it and how everything is laid and then I go in with my scissors and take a slanted angle, I start cutting the hair. You're going to see later on, I'll be using a razor to get a more blunt cut for this unit. Also, this part is going to be very long because I'm showing you guys in detail, no edits, exactly how I cut this from beginning to end. At the last result with me wearing this wig... Again, guys, I know my nose is busted. It's going to look ashy. I guarantee you, I'm telling you, it is not ashy. It is just healing. That's why it's, like, peeling. So please, again, don't come for me, guys. It's healing. And I really didn't want to put any, like, cover-up on it just to, like, avoid any infections. It's at the end of it all. So that's my little rant. Just preparing you guys for the end. So enjoy this as you listen to the music and just see this cut, this transformation.
um, close up the lace, and you guys like to see results. I did, um, I just put a cap underneath it, and I put this on to gel my big hair down. Then I did my method of the mousse and the gel to keep these flyaways down you know what i'm saying and i added a bit of lipstick some mascara and an eyeliner wing just to enhance this look for you guys because i'm really feeling it all right so this is the finishing look guys yes i did that <laughs> okay let me stop being cocky but no, i'm really i'm really happy with the results seeing it's my first time trying to do an asymmetrical or asymmetrical well you know a type of slanted type of look i'm in love with it i hope you guys love this this is one of my favorite tools to do how to turn your lace frontal into a closure and also using the old time weave that us girls from my generation started out on that premium now to that milky way yes and honestly it feels the same it feels great you guys know what to do so if you already liked it that means you're next to subscribe also share it so others can see what you loved as well always peace love be blessed booze until my next video bye guys